I'm going to show you now how you build a just a basic subjective complaint. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you're under this subjective portion of the note. You can see it says subjective, objective, ADL, assessment, plan. We're going to be under subjective. Each line here is going to re represent one subjective complaint. All right, so what we want to do first is select the onset date, which uh, today is this date. And you don't have to have that date, but you can add it. And then you can add mechanism of injury. Let's say it's uh, an insidious onset. The patient doesn't really know how it started. The type of problem is common pain. Quality, you can say sharp, dull. Uh, let's say it's a sharp pain. Location, let's say cervical spine. And uh, I'm going to say in the lower cervical spine, just kind of centrally or, or bilaterally. Um, and then you want to choose if it's radiating, is the pain radiating anywhere? If it is, you can select that here. Let's say it is radiating all the way down the right side. So the right shoulder, the right arm, the right forearm and let's say it goes all the way down into the hand. If I wanted to be more specific, I can say uh, into the pinky, let's say, for example. Oops. And I'm typing that in this field up here. Timing, constant, frequent, intermittent, occasional. Severity, the patient tells you right now, let's say they just come in, it's an 8 out of 10. What's going to be our goal? And that's going to be our goal by next re-exam. So they're at an 8 now, let's hopefully get them to a 4. And then there's an other field. Uh, this is where its pain is worse in the morning, midday. And you can add any text you want here or... Um, during the customization videos, you'll also see how to add other buttons and other selections here. But I will just say the pain is worse in the morning for now. All right, so let's look at what that actually generates in the narrative report. Just for that one complaint, severe, constant, sharp pain, radi radi uh, rating an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10, where 0 is not severe and at all, and 10 is extremely severe in the following regions. Bilateral, C5, C6, C7, radiating to the right shoulder, right hand, right forearm, right arm, uh, and the pinky. The pain is worse in the morning. The condition was caused by insidious onset on this date. Um, you'll also notice that under the plan section of your note, our plan is going to be re to reduce the pain from an 8 in that area to a 4 by the next reevaluation. So that's what the subjective shows in the in the narrative report, just by building that out. Now you only really have to build this out on your first visit, and then the next time the patient comes in, this will already be here. Um, I'll go over in other videos how you can use macros to make this process a lot faster. But if you needed to build out one complaint, there it is. Um, the benefit of having things like this too, uh, broken down into boxes, is that you can quickly read what's going on with this patient the next time. As you get used to the shorthand here, or the abbreviations, you'll be able to quickly assess what's happening with the patient or what, what they had last time, and then make incremental improvements as the patient lets you know things are changing with them. In other systems, it becomes very difficult because you have to read a narrative report first and then if you want to change it a lot of times you'll have to remove an entire sentence just to make one little change with this on a touch screen you can simply touch the eight and uh, reduce it to let's say a six on the next visit now that shows improvement and in other systems that's a lot of times that's the only improvement you can show but in this case i have a lot of different options I can change the sharp, it's, it's not sharp anymore. I can change the locations where it might be decreasing in the area where 
it, it's um, the pain is actually happening. Um, I can change where it's radiating to, how frequent it is, could be intermittent. That all shows improvement over time. And just by doing that, a patient comes in, you can you can quickly touch the button, update the, the finding, and the narrative will automatically update with you uh, for you. And in this case, you don't actually have to read the narrative at all. So it makes things a lot faster um, at the table to make very quick updates to the patient's findings without having to read narrative or redo an entire note. Now just a, a reminder, just something I covered, in any one of these buttons that you click, you'll see that there is a custom field, just like I added the, the pinky there. Um, there is a custom field. Also, under the, in this field up here, this is going to be, I'll show you where this adds. This will add to the end of the entire subjective section. Um, so you can have, let's say, multiple problems listed out. Those will all list first, and then this will go to the end of the subjective section for that patient. So a patient could tell you one day they had a slip and fall, and maybe you just want to document that real quick at the end of the subjective section. Um, and so that's where that, that field comes in very handy. So just so you, you get this again, the patient could have pain, but they could also simultaneously have numbness um, in a different location. You know, also, let's say, the uh, left hand, for example. And the severity, let's say, is a, an 8 as well. It's not radiating. The timing is constant. Our goal is to get it to a 4. Same thing. So the narrative updates that as well. And you can see each separate problem. And again, that test information goes to the end there. Okay, so I hope that um, sums things up for you. It's a quick view of how the subjective section works. I uh, hope that works for you. There'll be other videos. We'll go over the objective, the ADL assessment and plan separately. We'll also go over how to use macros and the XDoc feature. Uh, in addition to that, I'll definitely show you a, a customization, so showing you how you can customize every one of these buttons. Customization allows you to change what's in the button as it reads. You can add buttons, remove buttons. A lot of times doctors don't use all the buttons, and they just want to remove some of them. Um, and then you can also even add citations uh, for research.